global four by one hundred meters final. Yeah, we just need to get the button around, and that's it. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DT. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DT. Greetings, Sports DTM fans, and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Raymond and I are here to talk about the 4x100 meters final for women. Right? I'm going to share with you the lineup, Raymond, um, the lineup feature. Germany, Netherlands, Poland, Italy, Côte d'Ivoire, United States, Jamaica, Great Britain, Switzerland. I see they're using all nine lanes for this final. Jamaica, USA, Côte d'Ivoire, Great Britain, the main contenders um, going into this final. How do you feel um, about this? Uh, exciting and nervous at the same time. <clears throat> really is always tricky and even when you have a really really good side you have to be mindful of it's not only having the fastest person but even the most efficient and getting the stick around safely so i'm nervous and excited at the same time i mean we we heard um shelly and elaine both talking about trusting their teammates so even though they haven't gotten a chance to practice so much Trust in their teammates is what got them um, around and, and into the finals. So <laughs> Jamaica versus United States is what is another um, is what this is turning out to be. The team of um, Brianna Williams, Elaine Thompson, era Forbes, and Shelley got them through to the final. No doubt, Sherika Jackson after. Resting for the 200 meters final, where she did exceptionally well to win that gold medal, will come into the team. Um, you suspect she will replace Forbes, or who she, would she replace? Um, Kurt, that's sticky. Of course, I, I'm imagining she will replace Forbes, um, no doubt. But you can't have that race without um, Sherika, that's for sure. So they. they the Golden Girls, Brianna, Elaine, Sherika, and Shelley will be the, the four for the final, you think? Yeah, no doubt. Um, is it that you're asking the lineup now? Or... <laughs> I was asking you what you think, if, if that will be the, not the lineup, but the four that will run. Yeah, 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 I should think so. I'm, I mean, the only surprise is if they bring in Natasha um, in this one, but I'm thinking the lineup would be that the Golden Girls. And they would bring in Natasha for who? <laughs> Possibly Brianna. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. So I, I suspect the Americans will also bring in Shakiri Richardson. So oh, what Jamaica need for them to win at this? Apart from getting a stick around safely and, and trusting the teammates, as um, Shelley and Fraser Price um, pointed to, <clears throat> is a matter of setting up the, the perfect lineup and, and, and playing on person's strength. Um, that, that would help go a far away. And, and you're talking about tweaking the lineup now or keeping the same lineup? Because <laughs> the last time um, I think we we'll tweak the lineup a little and we we'll lose to the United States, the last world championship. So they are the defending champion. And I'm sure everybody in Jamaica and all the members of the team would want back that title. You know, the better question, you know, I mean, I could you could always build a lineup out of, out of nowhere, you know, something like a, um, Brianna to, to possibly Elaine, then to Shelly, then to Sherika. I have Sherika on the third leg and have um, 
um, um, thing that Shelly and Fraser Price um, anchor. Those are some other possibility. However, you just have to try and imagine what would the US do? Should we set up our team knowing what US lineup would be? Or we just set our own, giving our strengths and where we think person's best fit? Because I'm thinking US would send them stronger person to, to anchor. And so, you know, you would you would want one of our strongest person to anchor too. Well, I, I think Shelly might be anchoring, considering that she said the reason why she didn't run the 200 um, mm -hmm. at this World Championship was because she was having serious problem running the curve and it caused a lot of pain and she just decided that she can't bother with this at this time in her life. So she gave up on the 200. So I suspect it, it would have caused her the same problem and pain to run that. Um, curve and seeing how Sharika is blazing that curve, we probably will be Sharika who runs the curve. Right. But but putting Sharika on the curve, um, so that's the third leg. Where would you put um so Elaine Thompson will, will, will second it then? Yeah, and and based on the split that I'm seeing yeah. for for Elaine Thompson from the last um from the Eats. At 9.9 .9 is what they're saying she did for the second leg. They left yeah. and they retain that spot. And I suspect they'll keep Brenna at the start. So they're not going to um play around with the lineup so much, but just replace one of those uh, leg runners for the final. Okay. Okay, that I can see that. I can see that happening. I can see that happening. And then the, the, the British team uh, will be strengthened with the um, inclusion of Daryl Nita and um, Dina yeah, Asher, who yeah. both were out um, because they had the 200 meters um, final to run. Yeah, I can imagine how strong they will be. Um, one to to really challenge for the for the a spot on the podium. I'm just I'm just suspect of the, the lane draw. I mean, sometimes that's that's the issue when you have to rest persons and and the stronger team come into the finals. Uh, you you end up compromising where you're looking to be placed in the lane lineup, and so uh, a lane eight um, might not be one of the best lanes for a Great Britain team, a strong Great Britain team. But I'm I'm, I'm still confident that they will be able to possibly pull off up a, um, a position on the podium. All right. So who are your top three? Well, Jamaica, USA. And in no particular order, Jamaica, USA, um, Britain, I not one of the other European teams might can spring a surprise is Italy or the German, but like said, Jamaica, Jamaica like USA. Ask you what from dead last? <laughs> no, the dead last thing one. Uh, All right, we'll, we'll, we'll but, but you but you can go ahead because you, you actually predicted one um, too much to a lot of person this may. Uh, you could actually uh, predict. <laughs> <laughs> But but don't sleep on Ivory Coast though. I mean, yeah. If persons don't bring around a stick efficiently, I would get Ivory Coast in a shot. So there you have it, sports DTM fans. Another look at the women's final for the four by one hundred meters. The dreaded relays. The most important thing is to get the tips, this the, the button around in the most efficient time. Do we talk about world record? No, no. But we need a, this gold medal. We desperately need this gold medal. So let us hear from you. What's your thoughts on the lineup? Who you think are going to win? Who you think are going to come second? Who you think are going to come third? And who you think are going to come dead last? Leave all those comments in the comment section below. And always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Raymond and I signing out saying, be blessed.